Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now quickly look at some of the questions based on the divisibility tests. Write the smallest digit and the greatest digit in the blank space so that the number formed is divisible by 3. Now, what ha what have we learned from the divisibility test of 3? A number is divisible by 3 when sum of the digits is a multiple of 3 or when sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So for this number to be divisible by 3, the sum of its digits, so sum of the digits for this number 4 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus what is this? Let us say that the blank space is x plus x plus 2. So we have to basically find out the value of x. So this is equal to 24 that is 7, 4, 7, 4 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 that is 24 plus x. So this is the sum of the digits. Now the question is this sum of the digits if this is divisible by 3 only then this number will be divisible by 3. That is our divisibility rule of 3. Now, what is the smallest number, smallest value that x can take such that 24 plus x is divisible by 3? Now, is 24 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. 3 eights are 24, so 24 is divisible by 3. So, the smallest value that x can take is smallest value of x would be 0 because when x is equal to 0 this is 24 which is divisible by 3 and what is the greatest value that x can take now x is a digit so x can only be a single digit number so what is the greatest value of a single digit number that x can take now think about it because it has to be divisible by 3. Now 24 is divisible by 3. Now if you add, now if you look at the multiples of 3, quickly look at the multiples of 3. So what are the multiples of 3? The multiples of 3 goes something like this. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15 and so on. So when you look at it, the smallest value of x could be 0 and the next value of x could be 3 because if x is 3, then this becomes 27. So 27 is again divisible by 3. The next value of x could be 6. The next value of x could be 9. So x can only take these values because only when x takes these values, this sum will be divisible by 3. Right? That is quite obvious because if you add 2 to 24, it becomes 26. So 26 is not divisible by 3. Now since 24 is already divisible by 3, so in order to make 24 plus x divisible by 3, x has to be something which is divisible by 3. So basically x has to be a multiple of 3. So the minimum value that x can take is 0 because when you put x as 0, the sum remains 24 which is divisible by 3 and the greatest value that x can take would be 9 because beyond 9 you have 12 so 12 is a two digit number but we have space only for one digit so the maximum value of x would be 9 so these are the smallest and the greatest digit possible in this blank space Question number 2. Using divisibility tests determine if 21,084 is divisible by 4 by 8. So how do we determine if a number is divisible by 4 or not? Now the divisibility tests of 4 focuses on the last two digits. If last two digits are divisible by 4, then this entire number will be divisible by 4. So let us see if the last two digit is divisible by 4 or not. So we get a remainder 0, so that means the last two digits are divisible by 4. So therefore, we say that this number is divisible by 4. 
what about 8 now to check the divisibility of 8 we have to see if the last three digits are divisible by 8 or not so last three digits is 0 8 4 which also means 84 because 0 at the beginning has no value so 0 8 4 is basically 84 and when you divide it by 8 what do you get So you basically get a remainder as 4. That means 84 is not divisible by 8. Therefore, this number as a whole is also not divisible by 8. Question number 3. Using divisibility tests determine if 12583 is divisible by 6 or not. Now, what is the rule? The rule says that if a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then the number is divisible by 6. So, now let us check the divisibility by 2. So, is this number divisible by 2? So, in order to be divisible by 2, the units place digit has to be 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, which is not true in this case. Therefore, this number is not divisible by 2. Now, since this number is not divisible by 2, there is no point taking its divisibility by 3 because for in order to be divisible by 6, it has to be divisible by both 2 and 3. So, therefore, we can directly say that the number will not be divisible by 6. Question number 4. Write a digit in the blank space so that the number formed is divisible by 11. So, let us assume that the digit in the blank space is x. So, we have just assumed that. Now, what do we know as per the rule of divisibility by 11? Now, in for a number would be divisible by 11 only when the difference between the sum of the digits at odd places and sum of the digits at even places is either 0 or a multiple of 11. So, let us first find out the position of the digits. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, these are the odd positions. So, sum of the digits in the odd places would be x, 4 and 4. So, x plus 4 plus 4 that would be equal to x plus 8. Now, similarly, sum of the digits at even places that would be equal to these positions 6, 4 and 2. That is, it would be 8, 9 and 8. So, 8 plus 9 plus 8. So, this would be 25. Now, let us try to find out their difference. So, the difference would be 25 minus x plus 8. So, this would be 25 minus x minus 8. That is equal to 17 minus x. So, this is the difference. Now, what do we know, know as per rule? That if this difference is either 0 or it is divisible by 11, only then the number will be divisible by 11. So, let us assume the first case that if we say that this is equal to 0. So, in that case, if we say that if 17 minus x is equal to 0, in that case, what would be the value of x? The value of x would be 17. Correct? But in this case, x is a single digit number. So, this is not possible because x has to be a single digit number because x is a single digit. So, that means that this has to be a multiple of 11. So, after 0, what could be the next multiple of 11? So, the next thing that could be is 17 minus x can be equal to 11. So, this means x will be equal to 17 minus 11 which is equal to 6. So, 6 would be the answer. So, 6 would be the value of x. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.